Chess friends, there are players with yellow ratings ranging from 2700 to 600, however today, I will share an incredible chess match between Alpha Zero and Stockfish where Alpha Zero displayed an astonishing yellow of 10 million. I can accept failure, everyone fails at something, but I can't accept not trying, let's get started, Alpha kicked things off with e4, we have Sicilian defense with Alapin variation, d4 is the opening move so after e5 knight d5 we have center exchanges, Alpha want to develop his pieces where he gets the open file, he has an advanced structure so I tried to break it with d6, bishop here knight b6 and after couple of moves later we have bishop f4 to add pressure to the pawn. For that reason we have bishop c6 and knight d5, capturing the knight isn't the best move because it will help me to clear up some space for my knight entry with red carpet, so bishop g3 bishop e7 rook e1 castle bishop c2 and we have knight b4 to target the bishop, he placed the bishop in an underground room to keep control over this light square diagonal, another reason is that the knight isn't so important to do bishop knight exchange. The knight is jobless there and the another knight have no right square to develop, so after doing center exchanges we have knight d7, a4 knight backs queen d3 to checkmate me in one move. If you want to make your dreams come true, the first thing you have to do is wake up, so I played knight f6 to protect it, knight g4 to counter my knight, alpha is threatening to capture the knight, takes then we he will capture it to deliver me a checkmate letter, for that reason I played g6 which is the only move to maintain the position, here alpha 0 could sacrifice the rook, let me show you the variation, rook takes e6 f takes e6, then the killer move will arrive queen takes pawn. He will give me some windmill checks to play bishop e5, paralyzing the knight to checkmate black in h7, rook f7, only move, but it will be a checkmate in a few moves, knight takes f6 bishop takes f6 then bishop p6 will arrive, queen g6 is a threat to force the king to go h8 square and it will be a checkmate in three moves. You can have anything you want if you are willing to give up everything you have, so back to the position, Alpha Zero didn't sacrifice the rook because he is not Gotham Chess subscriber, he played knight takes h6 check, then knight takes f7, sacrificing the knight to weakening my kingside squares, rook takes f7 queen takes check, this is the reason why he moved back his bishop long time ago, he saved the bishop from my knight attack, he wanted to keep pressure on this light square of the bishop. As I told you, you may put your bishop as a long term strategy but you may not execute it, but this is the game of 10 million elo, king f8 queen h6 check, king can't go to the e8 because of bishop g6, also the king can't go to the g8 square, because there is rook e5 move to destroy your king position, so in this position, we have rook g7, rook takes e6. Bishop e5 is coming to pin the knight, knight e4 will add pressure to the knight, so knight g8 to kick out the queen, 2000 elo rated player might think of playing queen d2, but it will create a drawable situation for white, queen d5 will come to target the rook, and look at the king position, his position will be purely safe, rook e1 you might consider then queen takes g2 will be a disrespectful checkmate to you. Don't let anyone tell you what you can't do, follow your dreams and persist, so back to the position, alpha played best move queen h3, maintaining the problem with moves like bishop e5 queen f3 check, I did knight exchanges, bishop e5 to target it, moving back the rook isn't the best move, but alpha 0 finds the best move, bishop a2, capturing the bishop isn't the best move because your king position is already in a terrible condition, don't make it worst, takes takes but the situation has not over yet. Queen f5, king e8 then queen h5 check will destroy you, so I played a5, queen check and I played bishop f6, rook e8 rook up to a6, try to protect the 6th rank, knight h6, rook g5 are my upcoming moves to kick out white pieces, d5 rook g5 queen h7 to checkmate me, queen e7 and my pieces combination are defending the king side as well, so alpha has to move back his queen on e4, c4 and bishop f4 is coming, so I sacrificed a piece, guess what? Yes you are right, the rook, Queen takes rook isn't possible because after doing queen exchanges, I will get one extra piece to control the game in my hand, for that reason we have d takes e6, rook c5 to target it, bishop f4, threatening to play rook d1 then rook d7. If you want something you've never had, you must be willing to do something you've never done, so rook c6 rook e3 and we have rook exchanges.
So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.